This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. So over the weekend, uh, people uh, gathered throughout the country in different state capitals in support of Wisconsin. In fact, uh, the chants and the signs said, quote, we are all Wisconsin. And there were thousands of people in Ohio. There was a thousand people, at least in Minnesota, capital. Uh, and a lot of people brought uh, cheese heads uh, that the Packers fans wear in Green Bay in support of Wisconsin. Uh, they did it partly as a you know, we're all here, and if it happens to us, we're all going to show up, and partly simply to support uh, the great work of the people in Wisconsin. And speaking of Wisconsin, uh, the biggest protest and rally yet uh, in this whole affair happened on Saturday again. Over 70,000 people showed up in Madison, and then on Sunday night, uh, they were going to clear people out from inside the Capitol building in Madison uh, to, quote-unquote, clean up. Um, and uh, that was supposed to happen. Five o'clock came, six o'clock came, and the cops decided that they were not going to enforce that. Which I, and uh, then the protesters were chanting, thank you, cops. Thank you, cops. And they stayed inside the building. So an amazing weekend. And uh, Think Progress actually put together a compilation of different uh, local news reports on the different rallies throughout the country. We want to show you that now. Clip six. Capital here is now ground zero. Thousands of people are at the Indiana State House this afternoon. Take a look at these live pictures. They are protesting a plan they say threatens their livelihood. Yes, Scott, it started last week in Wisconsin. It has now made its way to Indiana as we all expected. Tennessee union members say they're under attack. It may not be long before the state capitol starts looking a lot like Wisconsin State House. As Fox's John Dunn reports, the rallies are just getting started. Tennessee lawmakers should consider themselves on notice. We're not going to let it happen. Union members filled the halls of Legislative Plaza Wednesday. The people united will never be divided. They're fighting Republican proposals, which could limit the power of organized labor. We face an attack on all working class people. Yeah. Look, the reason I love these protests is because it's a fight for the middle class. You know, if it, we were in different time and different contexts in U.S. history and unions were incredibly powerful and they were getting more than the private sector, et cetera, et cetera, well, then that might be a different issue. But that is not what is happening now. The middle class, class is being crushed. And, uh, you know, I've shown you endless numbers and statistics on how much the top 1% has gained in the last 30 years over 281% their income has gone up. Meanwhile, since 1980, the middle class is completely stagnated. And by the way, if you thought that uh, the people in unions, public unions, were making more than the private sector, because that's what the conservative media keeps telling you, Associated Press finally did an excellent uh, write-up and analysis of this, and it is simply not true. Uh, in 2008, state workers nationwide, when adjusted for education levels, Okay, because public union workers are generally more educated in more management positions. Okay, and uh, it's not a slight on private workers; it's just on average that's how it works. And uh, but when adjusted for education levels, so same level of jobs, state workers in 2008 earned 11 percent less less than private workers on average for people in public union, including benefits, and local workers earned 12 percent less. So that's the reality of it. So uh, they're fighting at this point for, you know, in Wisconsin for public unions, but throughout the country they're also, uh, you know, fighting for private unions. Uh, in Indiana, they were going to go after them uh, because they'd already taken out the public unions in 2005 in terms of taking out their collective bargaining. And uh, look, in a, in a situation where the public unions were making much more, which is not this situation, and in a situation where you know, the top tax bracket, as it was before Reagan came in, is 70% on the on the highest marginal uh, uh, tax group. 
Well, look, then I say, okay, then you have a different situation. And it might call for different circumstances. But in today's climate, where the tax keep getting enormous tax cut, the I'm sorry, the, the top 1% and the top 2% keep getting enormous tax cut after tax cut. Well, in this environment, I love these rallies, and they're 100% right. Jenk, people don't know this about me, but I'm an underground gamer. I you like, are. I love to play video games. Well, then but you're going to love our new sponsor, Gamefly. They're the largest online video game rental service in the world. 7,000 titles, new and classic. Also, no late fees, no due dates, shipping's always free. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for a free trial membership.